Voice of America reports that U.S. officials have warned the Syrian government not to interfere with any U.S. air action against the militants. And I see U.S. corporate media has carried on the tradition of ignoring U.S. law and international law. The pace tonight particularly intense. You'll see those strikes continue over the coming days, but the tonight will stand out for being, I don't want to use the phrase shock and awe, you'll remember from the uh, Iraq invasion in 2003, but that certainly this first wave, the most intense, and I'm told that over the coming days, then you'll see more of a pace that we've seen with the strikes against ISIS in Iraq, a more regular pace. But tonight, very intense. They are ongoing. More than one Arab nation taking part alongside the U.S. in these strikes. Uh, the U.S., the only non-Arab partner carrying out bombing runs mm. tonight. That's a very interesting uh, detail. Uh, I also want to bring in retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel uh, Rick Frank. Oh, uh, Frank, Rick Francona, we're going to bring him in shortly. Uh, Fran, in terms of uh, the length uh, of this, I mean, to, to Jim's point, um, they strike hard tonight. Right. The targets get harder and harder as, as time goes on. Right. Um, but since there is no timeline in this, there is no, this is not a run up to a ground invasion they can take as much time as they want. That's right. I, I think what we're hearing from the administration now is you're going to see an intense period tonight where they're hitting large infrastructure targets, things that don't move, they know where they are. The second round is really looking for mobile units that have, that have seized equipment. You'll be able to find them from the air with reconnaissance and surveillance, and you'll see them. But that'll be in a much more deliberate pace. You know, it's the onesies, twosies, threesies we've seen when they, we retook Mosul Dam, for example. I retweeted several good tweets on issues that mainstream media is neglecting to report. And the fact that RT is willing to raise these issues, the issue of legality as far as U.S. military actions, is a big part of why RT is despised by elites in this country. It has to be said that the legality of this campaign has been highly questioned throughout these last several weeks uh, because certainly lots of questions are being asked uh, about the lack of approval not just from the Syrian government which unlike the Iraqi government never approved or requested such airstrikes but also from uh, Congress representing the American people of course here in the United States as well as the international community in the face of the United Nations. Please follow Representative Press on Twitter. See the links in the video description and please subscribe and share this video with other people. I'll be making more videos about Obama's war crimes. You can share this link with other people. I'll be adding more videos to this.